Presenting the Canon 7SZ. This camera is the last of a long and frankly bewildering line of Canon rangefinder cameras. The 7SZ traces its lineage back to when Canon used Nikon lenses as it wasn't big enough to make its own. But that is another story entirely. So, this is the 7SZ. But funnily enough, it isn't. Well, not officially. You see, Canon never actually named this camera the 7SZ. There was no announcement. The camera was actually given the name by Peter Deschert in his book about Canon rangefinders. And nobody at Canon said no. So, it sort of stuck. The camera itself is very well proportioned, though Leica users might find it a bit big for their manicured digits. It has a lovely, bright 0.80 finder with selectable frame lines, a stainless steel shutter, a CDS meter with an ASA interlock and multiple exposure. Released in 1967, the 7SC ceased production only a year later with a production run of approximately 4,000 cameras. Another camera with a bad case of timing as Canon threw themselves into SLR cameras. But what is the difference between the 7 and the 7SC, I hear you purr? To the untrained eye, nothing. But the 7SC has an improved finder that is clearer and reduces flare, and a larger knob. Sorry, speed selector dial. Oh, and you can also see the viewfinder adjustment screw on the top plate of the 7SC, which is useful, as apparently the viewfinder is even more complex than a Leica M. And importantly, it uses the Leica M39 mount, making it compatible with an enormous array of lenses. This one is sporting the Canon 0.95 50mm Dream Lens, which was designed by Mukai Jiro for the Canon 7 system. This massive beast of a lens tips the scales at over 600 grams. It's like half a bald eagle. It is in fact so heavy that it uses a breech lock to secure it to the body. And it obscures the viewfinder, so well done there. But it was the fastest lens in the world at the time, beating Leica to the punch by some margin. A grand total of 20,000 Canon 7 and 7SCs were made during the tragically short lifespan. But they have proved to be a solid and steadfast camera, popular with users even now. You can still find them in good condition for reasonable prices, though the 7SC does command significantly more due to the collectability. And if someone tries to sell you a black paint version for a stupendous price, tell them to jog on. They never came in black, those are repaints. So, pros and cons. Pros, nice design, bright finder, easy to use, chunky. Cons, uses mercury cells, ugly advance lever, kind of rare. Please like, subscribe and comment if you like this video. You can see this and many more great cameras at japancamerahunter.com.